Miss Dakota Williams here, back with another episode, segment rather, of What Has COVID Taught You? Joining me today is such a sweet, dear friend of mine. She has such a kind spirit, and she's funny as hell. She is a mother. She's a wife. She's a director, she's a writer, producer. Oh, and she's an actress too. Please join me in welcoming my friend, Terry J. Vaughn. Hey, Terry. Yay. Hey, Jaquetta. Hey, honey bun. You look so fantastic. It's been like a month of Sunday since I've seen you. Okay, yeah. so the question at hand is what has COVID taught you, love? Oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> uh, Jeez, you know, that's, I was I couldn't sleep last night thinking about this question. He's assessed Jonathan's vitals and he doesn't have any. After living his whole life in Cleveland, Will and Yoloma had gotten a house out in the suburbs. Make their way through Hartsville Jackson International Airport this summer. That is causing. You know, we live in the South because we like the warmer temperatures. So what is this all about? It's still raining out here. Well, Jovita, this is the tractor trailer truck that police say those suspects were in several hours ago. It was packed with an undetermined amount of Macy's merchandise. As you can see, the. Hello, I'm Jaquetta Williams live in Habersham County. A significant change in the snowfall. Look, I was able to make a part of the beginnings of my snowman in a live report. <laughs> Jaquetta Williams for a very special edition of What Has COVID Taught You? My couple and guests today, well, like I said, they're a couple. They do music together, but more importantly, they do life together. And baby, when I tell you this has been some comedy every time they are in the building, please welcome Emma Johnson, Avery Sunshine. Hey, hey, hey. He's hooked on a man one on one, okay? You find somebody who's willing to listen to you, you find somebody who gives you attention when you have not had it. You think you are in love. He's in love, and they were partners in crime. He's a producer, he's a singer-songwriter, he's a pastor, he's a father, he's a dad. He is a Kappa man. Something about those Kappas. Please oh. welcome my friend, Montel Jordan. Hey, Montel. What's up? What's up, everybody? Good to see you, Jaquita. It's always good to see you. I love you. I am your Thank friend, you. and I'm honored to be able to spend time with you today. Thank you, friend. So let's talk about the question at hand. What has COVID taught you? What has COVID taught me? Uh, quite a bit. The couple went from Lithonia to Covington. Now this is a great distance between when you don't have a car, they had to quit their jobs, which means money got extremely tight. I'm Jaquetta Williams. Police say a waiter at a restaurant in Marietta spent his first day on the job taking orders and credit card numbers, but his boss caught him before he did any real damage. CBS Atlanta's Christopher King is live now from Marietta with how this guy got caught. He was acting oddly, but at the same time, investigators couldn't find anything that would link him to the murder. There was no insurance policy. There was just nothing whatsoever. You take your young daughter, you drop her off at her grandparents' house and kind of just wipe your hands up. It is all one big fat lie. What kind of man does this? Investigators needed to figure out how was this happening to people? None of this makes any sense. Somebody who was dangerous out there, who was just picking out people, plucking them out and killing them with no reason. And you didn't know who it was or why. What has COVID taught you? Um, it taught me that my kids need to be in school and that um, or, uh, and alcohol is delicious. Mr. Quetta Williams here. With this friend I have right here with me today is more than just a friend. She's a sister, she's a soul singer, she's a confidant, she's a mother, but more importantly, she is somebody who has survived a lot of things. Let me bring my friend Angie Stone into the mix. Hey, Angie, how you doing, friend? Hey, fantastic. Sister, friend. That's my girl right there. I'm so <laughs> blessed to have you in my life. Uh, mm. This journey we own ain't nothing to play with. And you've seen no, me. At my at my worst and my best, so you know God has been so good. At this point, I'm I'm just here. What did COVID do? Peter begins to confide in Adrian about his desires, his dream to want a pornography business. He wants to make some movies, and he wants Adrian to be a part. Maybe of she knew about some trouble Jonathan had with someone. They don't care what police do or don't do. They're putting their lives on hold. Tanya shows up at the Durham police station, and she is terrified. What she has to tell them is not only outrageous, it's disturbing. She had an outburst. She said, you know what? If I have to go back 
and live with that woman, trust me, I'm gonna kill her. You know, logic probably should have told her, you're a cop, things are not going to end well, but we know how love is, right? It's never logical. Shakita was trying to find that special someone to build a relationship with. 